All right, guys, welcome back. Um, well, we're on uh, the next set of quests. The main storyline quest, I'm actually right next to Roust over here, so we'll get that going. Looks like he's got some hard lessons to teach us. Not sure what that's all about, but uh, hopefully we can get moving on and uh, get through the brave challenges that we were looking forward to in these trials and possibly get outside of this uh, little valley. Um, that's the goal for today. Get outside the valley and see what we got going on. Uh, I'm doing a little skill upgrade here. Made it up to about level 8, grinding out stuff. Got a good chunk of the um various things done. I definitely want that because I need it for other stuff. So, here we are. Rouse is right here. Oh, a bunny. And I just got the skill. Come here. I might be able to get my last little quiver upgrade I wanted to get before I started this uh, today. Oh, did I get it? I got some bones. Alright, let's check the crafting menu, see if I got what I needed. I did, fantastic. And we can go straight to level 4 because I was prepared. Nice. So we're up to level 4 on our hunter bow. Um, that means we can get arrows um ooh. we need wood okay what do we have in our inventory that we can break down nothing for wood I did find a bunch of wood um when I was exploring around the valley here the ancient ruins where we had a first start of the game as a little girl uh, I had a bunch of boxes in them for Aloy. Wood. So, a well, quick save at this campfire. I've only got one campfire that's not lit in the entire valley that I know of. So let's talk to this guy and see what he's got to say. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shots beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw traitor charged for the weapon that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. You guys are always so cryptic. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do to them here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never went it. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all charge law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. 
chance of this. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. So it looks like it wants me to go right to the campfire. Um, I would like to get a little more wood before we do that. Kill this boar for some reason. Seems like a good idea. get somewhere close to that 60 arrows in each. I think I've got enough blaze to do it. I should. I have like 40 blaze. So. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Save the arrows. Now all the meat and stuff is actually used for making health potions. Um, I got a few, so hopefully this doesn't go sideways. Uh, if you notice down here in the bottom, I've got quite a few different things now. Kind of stocking up on everything I can think of. Now we can get uh, resources from geese too, so... Alright, we are full. Let's go back and uh, fire arrow. Hit the save point, reset it to night. Go from there, maybe kill a fox on the way. Tasty. Or two. I mean, if you're gonna make it that easy. When I was actually hunting for that rabbit, I couldn't find any animals for a while. It was kind of bad. Alright. Here we go. Time to learn a lesson. Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Well, it looks like it has some blaze on it, and a few other things. I do like how the follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. Cover. What sort of machine does that? The 
sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. There's a whole village out here. Now since we're prepared... The tribe is doing the hunting, and we have all this to scrap, then they're not very efficient. bunch of these so I'm gonna just utilize the hell out of them.
over with. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. Got it. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Good boy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. Ooh, we got it wrong. These are Nora hunting dens. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured to them? The lesson lives within the questions, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for you. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it after the proving. After you're gone, uh oh. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you. I understand the final lesson lost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you, but at this time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Oh, we got a gift. Treasure box.
also got a skill point, which I think we should use or something. Let's go critical hit. Forager stuff we need to get, but especially gather. That's going to be invaluable if we need to get that all set up. This whole line needs to be done quickly. I did want to get this just so we can get better resource drops. And then I don't know what this heavy lifter thing is. We'll figure this out. Looks like we're going to have some actual legit weapons. And get some guns. So, skill profile though, it looks like it's going to be interesting. Um, so, 401 sip, some other heart. Get our arrows restocked, although I don't know why we need them. Fresh as it comes. Treasure box, closed up. Alright. Look at the map. We're well, in the middle. Mother's Cradle. Watch. Park. We gotta go there. So there's the rocks thing. So we gotta go here. And what do we got here? Ancient Armory we'll have to get once we go back outside the gate, but that's going to be after the Brave Hunt, so that's the other quest. Um, anything else we haven't done here? Look like it. We have 64 blaze. I don't really need to fight these. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Quick battle. Try to skirt around these things as much as I can. I will say that one of the things that requires you to do is fishing, and shooting fish with an arrow is interesting. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me.
Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you wanted all these years, Edna. Answers. So I'm gonna kill them all? What should I expect from <laughs> inside? Village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, the center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll go far with it. As I was. Back when I was up to try. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Hmm. All right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go away. No, I'm gonna be a dick. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. Game got all sad. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Oh, maybe I'm gonna kill them all. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You make me <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Carja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <sighs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Hey, it's probably the kid that we saved in the uh, beginning. Grab these campfires. Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years I hoped to see you again. If you came to run the proof. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. How do you like it? What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Get the sample box. I can actually afford that. I need one more water lines to afford that. So we'll get this one for now. Could afford that too. I had fifty watchers lenses before, I should have known that. Oh uh, well. We'll go with the freebie for now. We'll buy better armor later. I don't see where these are going to be really valuable to us at the moment. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Ted. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade off. Anyway. <laughs> Head for the Patriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tears. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tears said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to die. All right, well, we got some new clothes. You know, it might be time for me to find 
I guess. I don't know. Let's go check out the Angry Mob. generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks of some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Lars Hart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> there you go. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are fine. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Is there anything good? No. Looks like he's got most of the same outfits. What is the final watch refunds? Can make arrows, not worried about that. I'll take your sample box. Oh, I maxed out the uh, quiver. Nice. Um, potion pouch. What did I need for that? Ridgewood and metal vessels. Wow. All right. Um, okay. There we go. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. 
But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Ruminant hold your fruit, nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaran, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. But he was. <laughs> He's a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years ago. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. <laughs> The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Wow. So far a better freaking uh, storyline than the season 8 of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone to delve in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trick that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just this weird old jewel that sticks on his face. I mean, no, no offense. offense. It looks great on you. Hmm. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You can give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she should <laughs> With all that all metal that to slow you down? down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. This guy's flirting. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Race. Who can blame them? What else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man got in your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like it, but besides that, not much to tell. Spoken like a true soldier. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. 
I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Wow, there's a lot here to absorb. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. Together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcoming Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Osirons? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brew. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. Warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, sorry. Just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take you down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at it. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. But that wasn't bad enough. Entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement. Well, the way I hear when a hot soy, but then a nap, a few minutes. Yeah, ten years. Oh, no. Oops. Your sister was taken. Hit that one by mistake. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. They take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forest, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation.
habitation. Oh, they got a spire. It must be like Dublin. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Tell me about Owen again. When he's not scrounging, I... All right, we're I done. should make my... Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. Uh, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to the blessing from Tiffin, so... Uh, see you around, maybe? Yeah, definitely flirting. Also, notate the fact that she is the only redhead in the village. Now, the uh, odds of a redhead popping up naturally is about 1%. It is possible, but she does stand out. Oh no 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 no! Oh, oh, oh. oh that's bad. Oh that's very bad. I down too low. Oh, no. Over the bridge. Over the bridge. Yeah. Oof. is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Fancy. They're all going up, so I'm going to go down. Oh, 
Is this the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. Ah, uh, went to the wrong one. I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your fight, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. I missed the quest. You belong in the wilds, not mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've, trained I've trained all my, my life, life for the proving. I'm not, I'm not afraid, afraid of you. you. I'm not, I'm not afraid, afraid of anything. Of anything. Really? really? Confidence, Confidence is quiet. Is quiet. You're not. You, know, you know, I often, I often think, think of the day I gave you that scar. scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> okay, that sucks. Bala. Nice, nice job handling boss. That should yeah. keep him quiet. Till morning. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to boss, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested and I run you into the ground tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> Your bunk's right there. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I get the single bunk. Nice. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nor Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Yeah, I kind of screwed up talking to Owen. That's probably important for later. Alright.
ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Razor. More than equipped to take you on. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Come on. <laughs> no, excuse me. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. Good. That's it. No way, but forward now. Right there. You can leave. I can't see. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. We've got to keep going. The outcast. Are we on the trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. 
The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Peter. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving? Never. Never. For she is a brave now. Ha <laughs> ha. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Hmm? Damn it! Damn it! We can't hold them! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Mistakes were made!
Too many of them! Descend while we have a chance. Damn it. Should have just stuck with what I knew. Mm. This sucks.
burn it all. Thank you, your task. As you command. Okay. I gotta get our scanner back. Yikes. Doors.
operations and proceeded north to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages. But if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Who says I'm not Governor Nora? You are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Oh no! The place where we were born. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It is easier if I show you. See how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What are you talking about? Come. Chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to do. Aloy, the proving massacre was just a first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does it have to do with where I was born? My hope is everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. That's what I would assume. I think it's some kind of genetic cloning system. Hold for identiscan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. no.
Well, we're not getting there anytime soon. All mothers spoke to you as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Oh. It was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. When I'm exalted. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said oh. the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How is the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister and matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talk. It is done. No, I got yes. confused. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. <laughs> but how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. Made this thing a seeker, sister. For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. I have concerns about the fact that the Asian descended priestess is the prejudiced one here. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess. We hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May your mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Boy, that was a mistake. You not see how manipulative I've been over the last decade? <laughs> you are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the Sisa Yes. yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Oh, nice. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. 
Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Noah territory called Tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. No, now would be good. I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Huh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. We need to sing when we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. See, the machines like that. Corruption hanging off All right. So it looks like we've got pretty much everything wrapped up here so we get to the next gate. Should check our skills and stuff. I think we got a bunch of points. All right. Uh, let's grab Gatherer, Scavenger, let's check our inventory for treasure boxes, difference in our current one.
didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm on it. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Sounds so disturbing. <laughs> that caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But you deserve the honor. The survivors have told everyone how you fought to save him. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He, he fought to save me. He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of it. I remember. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aileen, I don't think he regret it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. The killers slaughtered. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says mean things about me. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proven, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I like her. So do I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Ted? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way. May all mother protect. All right, so we got to go up, but we're gonna loot first. Hey, they made it our village, so we can do all the looting we need to do. But. On that note, while I finish looting out this entire town, because I'm going to loot the whole town, I think we'll call it a night. Um, I'm going to take the weekend off. I should be back next week around 5 o'clock. Um, I think we'll go for Monday night. Uh, thanks for joining me. I uh, hope all of you enjoyed, and we will continue on to the outside world. Um, we do still have quite a bit of gear that came with the complete edition that we need to adjust so hopefully when we get to the next area in the next town we can get that stuff taken care of uh, but once again thank you for coming out 
I will see you guys next time.